Hey everyone, Zach here from the Launchpad with a news update for you. Well, some exciting announcements from the Sierra Nevada Corporation, or SNC. SNC is a global aerospace and national security leader with over 30 years of proven flight experience and heritage. Sierra Nevada has provided more than 4,000 systems, subsystems, and components to customers worldwide and participated in more than 500 missions to space, including to Mars. Well, Sierra Nevada is growing and expanding with the announcement of their new independent commercial space company, Sierra Space. Leveraging their breakthrough technologies, including the Dream Chaser space plane and their expandable life habitat, Sierra Space will build and deliver the future of space transportation, destinations, and infrastructures for low Earth orbit commercialization. Their turnkey spaces of service solutions are modular, scalable, and reusable, opening space to new participants around the world. Sierra Space will be a subsidiary of the global aerospace and national security company, Sierra Nevada Corporation. Now, that's not the only announcement they have made today. Sierra Space has just entered into a user agreement for the Space Florida's launch and landing facility to land their Dream Chaser space plane at the historic Kennedy Space Center runway. Dream Chaser, known as Sierra Space as America's space plane, will service the International Space Station under the new CRS-2 contract starting in 2022, when it will perform the first of at least seven cargo missions for NASA. Sierra Space's CEO has quoted to say, having a commercial vehicle returning from the International Space Station to a runway landing for the first time since NASA's space shuttle program ended in a decade will be a historic achievement. The new user agreement makes SNC the first commercial user of Space Florida's FAA re-entry site operator license and provides them the runway and support facilities needed during testing and landing. It also takes SNC one step further in applying for its own FAA re-entry license, something needed ahead of the first Dream Chaser mission expected next year. But what is the Dream Chaser? The Dream Chaser is a multi-space utility vehicle designed to transport crew and cargo to low Earth orbit destinations, such as the International Space Station. The first Dream Chaser will be called Tenacity, and it will be the first orbital vehicle in the Sierra Space Dream Chaser fleet. Dream Chaser can be customized for both domestic and international customers through vehicle configurations, launch sites, destination landing sites, duration, and a host of variables. Dream Chaser has the potential to land at any FAA licensed landing site that has a suitable 10,000 foot runway. The Dream Chaser offers a low G entry and runway landings protect sensitive payloads and provide immediate access to payloads upon landing. Dream Chaser was originally designed for NASA's commercial crew program as a competitor to the Crew Dragon Boeing Starliner. It was capable of carrying up to seven astronauts to and from the space station and other low Earth orbit destinations. The cargo version of Dream Chaser that we will see launched next year, with the help of its shooting star attachment, can deliver up to 5,500 kilograms of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to the space station, including food, water, supplies, and science experiments. Dream Chaser will be able to return critical cargo with only 1.5 Gs. The vehicle is designed for high reusability, reducing overall costs, and has a quick turnaround between missions. After leaving the space station, the Dream Chaser cargo system offers disposal services via the Shooting Star Attachment transport vehicle. Once separated from Dream Chaser, Shooting Star burns up safely in the Earth's atmosphere. The ability to launch on multiple types of launch vehicles and land on a wide variety of runways makes Dream Chaser a flexible option for reliable transportation. Dream Chaser is scheduled to launch on the United Launch Alliance's new rocket, the Vulcan Centaur, from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station sometime next year. Now, you would think that would be all that they had in their announcement, right? Well, they had one more thing, the announcement of their new space station. Now, not many details are shared, but by 2026-2027, Sierra Space is planning to launch and have operational their first modules of their new space station. Their space station will use their Large Integrated Flexible Environment, or LIFE, habitat modules that currently are being tested and prototyped for the Artemis program. Their inflatable station modules mean they can launch aboard any 5mm fairing rocket and offer up to three layers of living, working, cargo, and research space. The space station will be able to offer industries the ability to do in space manufacturing such as 3D printing, pharmaceutical and medical research facilities, agricultural production for food and science, and movie and TV studio production space, on top of commercial space tourism. 
If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe so you never miss another news update from us. Follow us over on Twitter to stay up to date as space news happens. Go behind the scenes over on our Discord. And if you want to help the channel go further and get early access to these updates, become a Launchpad member over on our Patreon. We will see you very soon with another news update. This is Zach with the Launchpad, signing off.